Are you watching news with me, Meher Sheikh? Let's begin with the top headlines. In order to revive loss-making telecom public sector undertakings BSNL and MTNL, the government today decided to merge the two ailing firms as part of a revival package of worth Rs 2,937 crore that includes raising sovereign bonds, monetizing assets and voluntary retirement scheme for employees. Ahead of elections next year, the Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar today batted for full statehood for Delhi. He said just like he wants special status for Bihar, they have always wanted statehood for Delhi. However, the demand had been already rejected by its ally BJP ahead of the Lok Sabha elections. After being lodged at Tihar jail for almost two months, some relief for Congress's favorite troubleshooter, DK Shiv Kumar, as he has been granted bail by the Delhi court on a bail bond of Rs 25 lakh plus two sureties. Shiv Kumar cannot leave India without permission, make himself available for interrogation when required and can't influence the witnesses in the case. Remember, Shiv Kumar was arrested by the Enforcement Directorate on September 3rd over charges of corruption and money laundering under the Prevention of Money Laundering Act. Former Indian cricketer captain Saurav Ganguly takes over as the 39th BCCI chief, says Kohli is the most important man in the Indian cricket and will support him in every manner and will respect former captain Emil Zoni's decision promising to clean up the mess. The new BCCI chief said that won't compromise with credibility and will ensure that the Indian cricket board remains corruption-free. Ahead of the Delhi Assembly polls, 40 lakh living in unauthorized colonies in Delhi to get ownership rights, calling it a far-sighted, progressive, revolutionary step for Delhi Union Minister Hardeep Puri says ownership rights will be conferred to people who are living there, whether they are on private or government land. These people can take loans to construct homes in the colonies now. Postmortem report reveals Hindu Samaj Party leader Kamlesh Tiwari stabbed 15 times and shot in the face. Two deep stab wounds were found on his neck. A bullet was found on the back of Kamlesh Tiwari's skull. But the entry wound was on the left side of his face four days after his murder. The anti-terrorism squad of the Gujarat police arrested two alleged killers. Remember, Kamlesh Tiwari was killed on October 18th outside his residence in Lucknow. A group of U.S. lawmakers expressed concern about the situation in Jammu and Kashmir, pointing to the detention of local political leaders and activists and the internet blackout. The U.S. had earlier agreed that the government's move in Jammu and Kashmir was an internal matter of India. Also, Islam Pakistan said that it should take action against terror groups like lashkar e taiba and jaish e Mohammed. Brexit was once again thrown into chaos on Tuesday after the UK Parliament first voted to support Boris Johnson's withdrawal deal in principle, but then minutes later rejected his fast track timetable for passing the necessary legislation. The yes no results means that uh, Johnson likely won't be able to deliver on his do or die promise to get Britain out of the European Union by October 31st. Whether Brexit will be postponed by days or weeks or months remained unclear. That's all for now. Stay tuned for more updates.